Hey everybody, this is Jasmine Banks and I am following up on my weight loss journey. So, I am happy to announce that I have lost five pounds. And this has been challenging because if you haven't been watching the videos previous to this one, I have an extra challenge when it comes to weight loss. I am not only in a wheelchair, I not only have a chronic illness, but when I had my knees and hips replaced, I lost seven inches in height. So if you combine all these factors and the fact that I'm over 40, it, it makes it more challenging for me to lose weight because when you don't walk, you're not getting the same exercise, therefore you're not burning the same amount of calories. If you have a chronic illness, such as juvenile rheumatoid arthritis or plenty of others, uh, sometimes your body in defense can produce cortisone and the side effect of any steroid is weight gain and then over 40 well you get that one but on top of it if you have joint replacements and you lose inches or if you had an amputation your total body mass has changed and therefore your caloric needs need to be downsized so that's where my challenge came in I seem to be eating for someone who is five foot one and I am four foot six now so now that I am aware of this, it's been a challenge because in a way, I'm, I've been sort of starving when I'm eating for my four foot six height. And I'm never feeling good, I'm not feeling energized because I, in one way, I'm not getting enough food. The doctor said what I need to do is I need to very slowly get my body used to the new caloric intake. And that's been tough because in the past I would achieve my goal weight um, but it wouldn't last very long because I'd really have to starve to do it I'd have to go on the supermodel diet and I'm not a supermodel so that doesn't work uh, <laughs> so now what I've been doing is when I feel about 80% full I'm just stop eating and I've been pretty good about it uh, mostly because I decided since I can't weigh myself every morning like a walking person can, I, I have to wait till there's someone to pick me up, we stand on the scale together, then we weigh that person and then we do math. Um, and, and that makes it difficult to keep myself in check. I don't have anywhere that I can put a mirror that I can see myself full bodied, but I did find that if I took my webcam and I put up a quick time video, um, live I could take a look at myself which I wasn't too pleased at what I saw and that's enough <laughs> to make me go no I really don't want french fries no I don't want seconds no I'm good I feel good at 80 percent so that method seems to work well for me um, and it's also been a challenge to myself to say okay I'm going to stop at 80%. I'm going to stop when I feel satisfied. It's not about being full. It's about being satisfied. And then you wait, and about 20 minutes later, the food expands in your stomach, and then you feel full. So most of the time, I can be really good about it. It is tricky when I'm with other people, um, and we're all out eating. Uh, so that's something where I have to really watch it. The other thing that I've been doing is I buy... Uh, little portion containers um, you can buy them online I buy the ones made out of corn uh, so that they're disposable in two ounce three ounce four ounce they're the things that if you were to go to a restaurant and they put the sauce so you could take it home in those are portion containers and if you make cold salads or different kinds of foods even if it's something you were going to warm up and you portion them according to the amounts that you should have it, it helps so that you don't have to rely on your judgment at the moment that you're hungry. It's already portioned out ahead of time that this is what you're going to take out of the refrigerator and put on your plate. Uh, you can't heat anything up in them, so they're great for cold foods. And if you're going to heat something up, you just have to take it out of it. But the big thing is it prevents you from making a judgment call when you're hungry. And that's not what you want to do when you're on a diet. I have found that uh, I have to have a cheat day and even on my cheat day I'm trying to be good about it what I decided was I could order anything I want I just have to try and not eat the whole thing and that works not so bad at times um, 
especially if I'm out with friends or whoever, if we can order something that we can share, that's very helpful because we split it up right then and there and I only eat what I'm supposed to. Or the other thing is if it's something that can freeze, I portion it in the restaurant, I pull over what I'm supposed to eat and I ask them right away to take it and bag it. Um, I also, maybe I'm not going to take it home for myself, I'm going to give it to my sons, but I find some way that at the restaurant I'm taking my portion that I'm supposed to eat and at least I'm satisfied because I'm having that forbidden food but in the right portion that I should be eating. And one other thing is pine nuts are a very good appetite suppressant. If you eat them about half an hour before you're going to eat your meal, there's a chemical a chemical that they send to your brain that makes you think you're full. Uh, they used to use pine nuts when they were in the desert and they didn't have access to food to sustain them and they would just eat you know, little handfuls of them and they didn't feel hungry. And I'll tell you something, it really works well. So those are my recommendations. That's where I'm at at this moment. I've lost five pounds. Woohoo. Uh, let's see if I can make it go down further because I have um, nine more to go to reach my goal weight. I seem to be maintaining the five pound loss and they always say the challenge is to lose those final ten pounds. So let's see what happens and good luck to you guys that are on the same fun journey I'm on. Until next time, thanks.